In this video, we will be looking at how we can connect to a specific data source from our apps. So we'll start with a blank app and we'll try to connect to a SharePoint list or a table in an Excel file. So we'll be creating a new app. We'll add, we'll see how we can add the data source. We'll try to connect to a sample list and also a sample table in an Excel file. So let's let me show you. So this is a list from my development site. Uh, this is what we'll be connecting to. And we have Excel file here in my OneDrive. So if I just open it for you and there is a table. So you have to make sure that you have a table created in your Excel file uh, so that you can connect to it. Now if I just show you, this is my table name, vendors table in this vendors sheet this is this file you can either store it in a sharepoint site uh, library or you can keep it stored in the onedrive now let's just move to the power apps uh, portal and we'll create a blank app let's just create a blank canvas app let's keep it as a phone layout and uh, connecting to data source that's what we will be looking at in this uh, tutorial so let me just hit create button now this will create an app blank app for us with the blank screen so i will just create uh, i usually i use this scrollable screen and i will delete the default screen which is already created now every app every interface needs uh, to be connected to a backend which is a data source so in here in this app we'll see how and from where we can connect to your backend in our case it would be either a sharepoint list or it could be a excel file in one drive so what you need to do is go to view there are multiple ways from where you can go to data sources from view tab click on data source you will see it here or back here i'll just close it on the left side also you will see that there are icons here if you click on this a tabular icon here database icon here also it will take you to this window now as i have i don't have any connection created it's blank here if you have connection or if you have added any data source you would see it here now if you click on this arrow here add data you will find many options here there are a lot many connectors available to plenty of different data sources like sql oracle sap there are premium standard free connectors premium connectors uh, now what we'll be connecting to is a sharepoint list so i'll just hit sharepoint and you can see that okay here is the option just click on that now it will say okay how do you want to connect to your sharepoint like first one i'll choose i want to connect it directly so i'll hit connect button and this will create a connection with current user login okay it will create new connection and it will show you okay where do you want to connect which site you want to connect to now if you want to see whether this connection has been created and where you can find the connections uh, you have to go to the either you can go to web.powerapps.com and from the left side navigation here in the dataverse under dataverse you can see connections you will see all the connections here now if you see here this is just created 29 seconds ago okay so this is a connection which will be used to connect to whatever site or list you want to connect to now in my case i just have one site i'll just select that site once you select the site it will ask okay which list or library you want to connect to. so you'll be able to connect to a library as well in our case i just want to connect to this particular list tenants list so hit the connect button and that data source will get added here now how we are going to use it in the app we'll see it later on that's the way you can connect or you can add a data source of a sharepoint list in your app now let's see the second example here we'll try to connect to a table in an excel file which is stored in a onedrive again if you go back add data 
look for excel here you will have option excel online business just select that once when it is first time it will always ask you okay you want to connect if it is the connection is already there it will pop up that and it will ask you to choose the connection so hit the connect button this will create another connection for excel onedrive uh, excel online now from where do you want to connect to excel where is your excel file located is it located in onedrive is it located in a sharepoint site you can choose that so in my case it's located in onedrive for business so i'll select that hit onedrive you can see if i show you here this file is stored under vendors folder so it's it's showing me all the navigation you can select it and you can see the file once you select the file it will pop up all the tables which are there in that excel file so if you had multiple tables in your excel file it will show all of them here so you choose your table hit connect button insert auto generated id into excel table yes that's fine so here or like whenever you create a, a record from power apps into a, a excel table there are two options here to generate the automated id or unique id there is a default option wherein it will create the power apps will create auto generated id into excel table or if you have any unique sorry if you have any unique column in your table which is already a unique identifier column you can choose that but if it is not there you can keep the default option and hit the connect button now you can see here the second connection is also added here which is to a table in an excel file which is stored in a onedrive and this one is a list in a sharepoint site now what you need to do is usually either you will have a tabular control here to show the records from this data source or you will have form controls where you can add or view the record from this data source so just to give you an example quick example we'll see all of this in upcoming videos in detail but if you go to insert click here click on gallery choose let's say a uh, vertical so i have a gallery added here on my screen i'll change the layout here i'll just keep it title and subtitle keep it maximize select the gallery go to items property see i'll just go back here this is my gallery go to items property now here you can uh search for or connect it to a data source which you have added now you can choose a tenants or so if you choose the tenants which is your sharepoint list you can see automatically it will show all the tenants from your sharepoint list or you can connect to vendors or uh, table now of course in my list in an excel file in the table i don't have any records that's why it's not popping up here so i'll just switch it back to tenants so this way this is how you will be able to connect to a data source uh, from power apps so you have to go to view tab data source tab and then if the connection is already not there you can add it if it is already there you can select it well that's all in this video i'll be coming up uh, with the new videos uh, probably maybe after three four days so stay tuned uh, subscribe to the channel for notifications of newly uploaded videos thank you so much for watching